When I start a new first person shooter game in Unreal Engine 5, I am able to shoot with balls. But I don't want to be shooting with my balls, those are mine. So we are going to create line tracing channels. In our first person character, we see an input action primary action. When you go to edit, project settings, underneath input, we can see that this means we click our left mouse button. So what happens when we click our left mouse button? We call a dispatcher node, call on use item. And this one is used, so we go to content folder right here, in the BP rifle right here. Ctrl E to open that one up. And then we can see there is an event binded to this, namely on fire projectile, which you see here, which fires off this ball. Now, you don't need to remember all this, all you need to know is that this is the action that we need on fire projectile, so alt click to disable this one, and we're going to need some room. So let's drag this one right here. And the first thing we are going to do is get off this pin and then all the way here, because we need a lot of room, line trace by channel. Those are different ones, but by channel is the one we need. Okay, what do we have right here? We have a starting point, so where the line trace starts and where it ends. Then you have visibility by default, but you can also choose camera, which is what I'm going to show you. Because with visibility it has to do with collisions, you really have to be precise in your collisions, and camera hits more stuff basically. So hit this one, you don't need to use this one, and actors to ignore, those are friendly characters that you don't want to hit. Now ignore self, because this is our gun here. So we don't need to be shooting our own gun, the trace has to go through the gun. So leave this as is. And draw a debug type, right now it's set to none, so you don't see the trace. But just for debugging purposes, so we see it on screen, for duration. And when you hit this icon right here, you can see the duration is 5 seconds. So we can see it on screen for 5 seconds, you can also change this one. And also change the colors, because you'll see red and green channels later on. You can change this by clicking here, then just tracking the color and hit OK. But for now, these are fine for me. So we need a start point. And for the start point, let's go back here to my character. I like this to have it from my camera. So from my camera, right into the world. Because this is usually in the middle of my screen and this is where I am aiming. So the camera will do. So in a BP rifle, we need to get a reference because it's inside the BP first person character. I get the reference right here and then get it and get the name of the camera is first person camera so drag off this first person camera and then here get first person camera great so now we need to get the location of this one get world location and then i get where this is located in my world inside of my level great this is my starting point i am shooting my line trace from here already now we need an ending point. Bit more work, but not super difficult. So we need to be shooting this in the forward direction of my camera. So from this, get forward vector. But right now, forward is just one unit, which is one centimeter in Unreal Engine. But we need more. For that, we are going to multiply. Let's already drag this a bit further. So you usually in uh, previous versions, you could multiply like this. This also works, but this is a lot more work. Just right click here, then hit multiply. This will make your life easier, just trust me. For the range, we're going to name a variable, click the variable and let's name this one gun range. Not a boolean, but we need a float. Hit compile and let's set this to 20,000. So this means this is 20,000 centimeters, which is 200 meters of gun range inside of my game. This should be enough. So drag this in, hit this in this pin first, important, and then like this. Nice. Okay, then hit compile. This uh, works. So now we are shooting 20,000 away, but we need to add it to a start location. So 20,000 from our start location. So from this, hit add. And then control click because I want to arrange it nicely. And then, okay, nice. And add this to the ending. So right now, this already is shooting a line trace by channel from the start and my endpoint. Great. So let's go here to my screen. Get my gun. 
And you can see it's all green. Now, why is that? Because we already ignored ourselves. With self, we mean this BP rifle. But we are not ignoring our player character right here. So, what we are going to do is to actors to ignore, get our first person character, and add this to the ignore list. So, this is ignoring our character and it shoots through. So, you can also add multiple uh, allies, for example, like this, and add different ones. But just myself for now will do. And right now, when I then hit, I can see red here and green going there. So now we are shooting through things. And for testing purposes, let's also print the string to see what we are hitting. Okay. And from out hit, type in break hit result, get this one, and open this one up. And you can see all type of things that we can see. So Popular ones here are hit actor, are for example hit a bone, because then you can add an impulse effect or something, but hit actor are the, the actors inside of my world. These are popular ones, so in string. Now to make it more easy to read, so click this one, F2, let's make them more personal. Mike, click this one, F2, Cindy, and then F2, uh, Jerry, Jerry, yeah, okay, good. So now, get my gun, and then you can see here, on the top left, Mike, and I do aim, Jerry, Cindy, Mike, 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 and then here, this is named cube 4, cube 4, and this one is named cube 16, and I can aim here back. So you can see my line traces are now going through the world, and also through my items. This is how you basically set up the rifle with line trace by channel, also some little debugging. Main things that could go wrong here, but if you set it up like this and in the order that I told you, you should be able to hit the actors that you want. Now in my next video I will show you how you can hit an actor and also apply damage to it, so we can also die, and later on also how you can create a machine gun out of this with automatic weapon. But I hope you like this. More non-BS quick videos like this and helpful tutorials on my YouTube channel. So make sure to subscribe there. See you later.